There's a lot of talk these days about the downturn, the upcoming recession, probably the recession we're already in, and rightly so. It's a different world. It's a different set of challenges. Now, I'm talking to leaders every day, and most leaders I'm working with, this is not their first recession. It's not my first recession. So we know how to do them. We know how to ready a business for them. We know how to navigate a recession. But there's one big difference that's coming up over and over. And most CEOs are saying this is a recession, but not like every other. Because we're going into a recession in a tight labor market. And that labor market, that access to talent will remain tight in the downturn. So historically, when you go into a downturn, you cut everything that is discretionary. Usually that means developing of people. That's one of the first things to go. That can't happen this time. And the leaders I'm talking to are saying that cannot happen this time. That to develop the key leaders in your organization, to grow leadership, not only to traverse this difficult period of downturn, but also to develop the capacities that would be needed past the downturn. Now, doing that has two, a number of benefits. A, you can be the winner coming out of the downturn. You can outperform during the downturn. The second part is keeping your best talent. The cost of lo losing great talent is extraordinary. I read an article the other day that said the next great energy shortage, talent. We're running thin. Finding and keeping the best people has to be one of your top priorities. During this downturn, understanding where to focus, what to develop and who to develop so that you're keeping your best talent and readying them for both the downturn and afterwards. That's where a focus for leadership should be. All right, take care, bye-bye.